Police Court is Daniel P. Wallace. Sorry. <clears throat> Come from another direction. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to begin by apologizing. I will not be able to stay afterwards and mingle. Uh, I'm a solicitor for the Greenville Area School District, and we're having a meeting this evening that I have to attend. I also want to thank the League of Women Voters for hosting these three uh, events. I, I want to tell you, I've discovered one of the most delicious drinks in my life. It is <laughs> called Mormon Champagne. And is the lady here that makes the Mormon Champagne? It's a mixture of, I've forgotten already, so, but it's very good. Secondly, I want to thank my fellow candidates. Uh, I want to thank my fellow candidates because I believe we have run a very clean uh, election up to this point, and hopefully through Tuesday it will continue to be that way. We are all guilty of shamelessly promoting ourselves, and that's what we're supposed to do when we're at something like this, but I don't believe we've ever uh, taken pot shots or anything like that in this process. And so I want to thank the, uh, the other candidates. And finally, I want to address all candidates that are out there tonight. And I want to say to them, no matter what happens on Tuesday, you have every reason to hold your head high. And I say that because uh, this is the first time I've ever run a campaign, and it's very hard to do. And believe it or not, in my opinion, this is a, an approximation. In my opinion, probably only 5% of the public have ever been involved in a campaign or actually campaign for themselves and those are mostly local elections and we're running a countywide campaign and Mercer County believe it or not I have found is a very very big county so keep your head high on Tuesday no matter what happens I read an article a while back that said the uh, the best way to start a speech this is an article about public speaking. But the best way to start a speech is to make an irrefutable statement of fact. So I'm going to make an irrefutable statement of fact tonight. And it's very simple. The job description for a judge is entirely different than that of the job description for an attorney. And I'll say that again. The job description for a judge is entirely different than the job description for an attorney. And that's because of our system of justice. We have what's known as an adversarial system of justice where the attorneys aggressively represent their parties, their clients. Whereas the judge, and that's why a judge sits higher in the courtroom, is there to make the decision. So when you, uh, when you select a judge, a candidate for judge on Tuesday, keep that in mind, that it's not necessarily the individual with the most experience. Thank you.